Hey folks, Chaos here in my game room slash domicile, for lack of a better term. Uh, figured I'd go ahead and give an update as to what exactly the funds already donated by Grant and Wes Heckman. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Figured I'd give a little video that I'm going to be posting on you here on YouTube and everything about the Lander and Sandy series because I talk about it a lot during my live streams and I feel like a lot of the times I tend to get distracted when I'm, for example, playing Borderlands 2. So, figure I'd just talk about the series on my phone, and yeah, just go over it. Um, the series has been well over a decade in the making. Um, I've pretty much had the idea for the Land of Insanity series when I was still in high school, uh, which has been 11 years now, and things have changed in the series, some things, like I switched main characters, like it used to be a guy named Slick, um, who I have since renamed Shin, who is a, more of a supporting care, a supporting role in the series, and the new main character is Thorn. Uh, without getting into too great of details, um, the Land of Insa Insanity series takes place in a post-apocalyptic, well, to be more precise, the series starts pretty much when the world goes to shit. Angels and demons, vampires and werewolves, elves and dwarves, anything that we think to be myth, like in reality everything that's a fairy tale creature or a movie monster or what have you, in the series is real. And it's up to the main character Thorn and a colorful cast of side characters to survive in this new this new land of insanity for lack of a better term which is where the book series gets its name now on to what the main part of this video is about um first off I'd like to state that I chose GoFundMe to help raise funds because it's transparent and I can show that hey I'm donating to the cause too. Um, I didn't like being on Patreon for the simple fact of I was asking people to donate, but I can never show what resources and what funds I was putting into it. With GoFundMe, I can't. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, if you click the link, which will be in the description for this video, you will see that there's so far been a total of three donations, and while I'll admit, off to a slow start, the donations have com have accomplished much. Um, thanks to the donations of. As I said before, Grant Heckman yesterday and Wes Heckman about a week ago, um, I was able to buy a grammar program online called Grammarly. Probably seen the ads. And basically, $30 of the donations have gone to that. So I could actually edit. The first book, which will be titled Land of Insanity and the Sinners of Lust and Greed. 
Um, a bit of a lengthy title, but it, it, when you read the book, I think you'll understand that it fits and it applies. Um, and also with $35 donated through the, um, GoFundMe thus far. 35 of it has gone towards submitting the manuscript to Outskirts Press for review and feedback when where needed. I'm assuming the feedback part is so they can critique the manuscript, say what I should change, what I should improve, what have you. But, there is a plus side. Um, with the package that I will be published, like, the publishing package that I'm going to be sending on to. Oh, I, sh I should also point out that this review and feedback thing also acts as a down payment to Outskirts Press to, to pretty much say that, hey, I'm giving you my manuscript, and you're going to publish it into a book. Obviously, it's not going to happen overnight, as the goal has remained at $3,000, but with a little luck and a little time, uh, I could see it being published around about a year, I think, maybe. At least I'm hopeful. So, yeah. Uh, but then again, that all depends on you guys. The more people donate, the less, the more time gets taken off of how long it's going to take total. So, um, I, sh I would like to point out that when I do publish, uh, a lot of people have suggested doing just straight paperback. Uh, I disagree with that option uh, for one simple fact. Um, I want everyone to have access to the book when it first comes out. Hardcover, paperback, and ebooks. Which the ebooks will be, I do believe, going through Amazon for Kindle and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and for those who donate, which reminds me, Grant, Wes, let me know what perk you're interested in for donating. Um, I, I might even send you guys a message on Facebook later. Anyways, um, I have a variety of perks that uh, are going to be exclusive to people that donate. Uh, biggest thing... The top nine donators will get an autographed copy of the book when it's published. Like an autographed first edition. Um, I say nine because part of the publishing deal says I get ten copies. I want to keep one for myself. I, I don't think that's necessarily selfish, but, you know... I just wanted to make that abundantly clear. So that way, um, if I have kids or whatever, see, that's the main reason I want to keep a copy for myself. To pass down to my kids or to show them that, hey, dad wasn't always a loser and a schmuck. Because, let's be honest, that's been the majority of my life. I digress. Um, other perks that I'm willing to include are, say, there's a character you really like from the series, which reminds me, I'm going to have to get a list, list out there, maybe some short bios or whatever, to build up the hype for the characters that are going to be, especially the ones that are going to be in this book. Uh, if you like a particular character, and you donate, uh, I will have, I, I will get in touch with an artist, 
uh, of your choosing or mine, and I'll get, and I will personally commission artwork of said character for donators. Another perk that we have, so should you so choose, um, pretty much along the same lines as the favorite character thing, it's more of a, if there's a demand, like a strong demand for like a short story or short novel that you want to see in the coming future, uh, let, about a certain character or whatnot, let me know. Um, cause yeah, as I said, I've spent a long ass time on this series, so I have the world pretty much fleshed out. And I know not all of the stories that I have written are going to make it in the main book series. And I really want to get, uh, feedback from... People that will be reading my books, and more importantly, people that donate. Because without your donations, well, the book series is never going to happen. I mean, that that's the sad truth of it. And I can only donate so much a month... So that way I have money to, you know, feed myself and pay bills, but... If I'm the only one donating, for lack of a better term, um... Then it's gonna take a really long time to get this book series published. Uh, and hopefully... You know, I'm optimistic and hopeful that the first book sells well enough does well enough you guys like it enough that i won't be needing to do donations and gofundmes for other books in the series and spin-off books um but at this point i feel like i'll probably just rant about random shit involving the book series and nobody wants to sit around and watch that. So, the, GoFund, the link to the GoFundMe uh, for Saving the Land of Insanity book series will be in the description below. And I have a simple little mindset. If you can't donate, I understand. Truly. Um, I know. The times are tough. Have been for a while. It, you know, obviously, I know this from first-hand experience. That's why, if this book series becomes a success, I want it to be known that it is because of people like me. People that struggle to, if nothing else, accomplish something before they leave this world. And, honestly, I want this to be a book series that's for the community, for the fan base, for the world in general. Um, and yeah, that being said, uh, anyways, um, if you cannot donate, which I totally understand, I will ask, humbly ask and request that you share with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, if you're close. Or if you just want to piss them off, share with your enemies. That being said, um, I, I'm going to... I might be doing another uh, another Borderlands-based live stream in the near future. I'm hoping to. I'm just building up my character level at the moment, so I don't get slaughtered doing this new Fight for Sanctuary DLC that they dropped. Not really new anymore, but you get my meaning. And uh, until next time, Chaos out.